Alright guys, I am traveling. Let's go. The train was so delayed. It's almost 6.30 now. Wow, I'm hungry. I really want some mashed potato. But I don't think there's any mashed potato to be found. But we're here. I'm walking home. I had some chicken tenders. Oh, the bus that I was supposed to take. Um, it's fine. I need a little walk anyway. Look what we got. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Let's get ready. Get ready. I'm just going straight in with concealer. Uh, quite a lot of spots that needs to be concealed. What can I do? Then I'll put some powder on. I'll wait to see my husband. I haven't seen him for who knows how long. Then I'm going in with the shimmer. That's not usually what I do, but I feel like it might make it less messy. Oh, I'm just highlighting. Oh, damn. I put on contacts. I was supposed to wear my glasses. It's fine, it's fine. Then I'm going in with a darker color. I think I'll use this green. And I'm just doing the outer corner. Both top and bottom okay my lashes i do you like this something so far is good i like using purpley wash then i'm going to use pony that's the finished look and then i'm going to do this long empty necklace i have this feather earrings and then i have this what do you think i think it was fun I want to hop on here to share a little realization. It's not anything new, to be honest. I was watching other YouTube videos um, of YouTubers talking about their philosophy and realized everyone has their own way of doing this. Content creation or art career, creative career. Like someone would say, idea is everything. Look at the successful clickable titles and then think from there, pick that topic and then talk about it but then there will be another successful creator who doesn't care about ideas and all they care about is the craft and then allow the material to guide them it's the checker players children's book the alligator children's book of two alligator one is a carpenter and another one is a tinker and the carpenter measures everything and plans everything, whereas the tinker, he just do everything as it goes, and if it doesn't work, he fix it, you know? I definitely identify as a tinker, and maybe with more practice and I have a very, very solid routine, maybe I will be able to be more a carpenter, I don't know, but I was learning about how to make better videos and videos that people are interested in watching but in the end of the day I was reminded that even if no one is watching I would still be doing this because I enjoy the process and what I should do is to not look at other people but look within and listen to my own intuition and just checking in with myself, how's my routine working and what I've been producing, am I happy with it? And what would I like to see more that I create? What's more important than that is to focus on the doing. I don't want to spend too much energy controlling what I want myself to be doing. Instead, I just want myself to just do. As long as I'm enjoying the process, I think that's good. My goal is that I want myself to create something every day and with a ton of practice and exploration I will get to a place where I could not imagine. So that's how I felt today and I hope if you like this video please give me a like and please leave in the comment what is something that you realize today or something that you were just reminded of that you've always known but today it just feels so much more resonating. Let me know.